Hi, hello, this is Anup here and in this video we are going to see what are the latest enhancements and features got introduced in Configuration Manager 2002, this version of Configuration Manager. This is the latest production version. If you have not installed 2002 or you are looking for a 2002 upgrade video then you can refer to the link in the description where I have explained how to upgrade to 2002 from the previous versions of configuration manager right okay so let's go to the features first right and see which are the pre-release features over here there are four pre-release features application group application groups are pre-release feature orchestration group is pre-release -re pre feature if i can say it correctly <laughs> uh, task sequence as an app model deployment type install method is also a pre-release feature and task sequence debugger okay so these are the four pre-release features cool so let's let's go to the cloud services now right and see what are the changes over there right so in the cloud services if you go to co-management properties uh, you would be able to see something called tenant attach right so tenant attach is nothing but a sync between SCM or configuration manager and Intune in a very high level, right? So basically, we are asking SCM or configuration manager to sync all the devices, right, to the new portal uh, that is called Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Sender, right? upload to microsoft endpoint manager admin center that's a new portal uh, for intune and all the cloud um, things right so this is this is new in 2002 version of configuration manager right so i have already gone through the onboarding of tenant onboarding of tenant attach okay as you can see, uh, there's a sign in button and you can go through all those things, right? All those fun stuff, right? That's cool. Okay, so apart from that, I wanted to show you one thing over here, right? In the core management, um, I've been hearing that why the client app is not in, not a production release yet, right? It was pre-release until 1910 version of SCM or Configuration Manager. But good news is in 2002 version of SCM, client apps is a production release, right? It's out of pre-release. Okay, that's cool, right? Okay, let's move on. Now, I just wanted to show you one new configuration in boundary groups. If I go to properties of boundary group, you can see options over here, right? And you can see during peer download, only use peers with the same within the same subnet, right? Uh, this is a new option available in 2002 production version of configuration manager. So that would be useful for many of you, I feel, right? If you are using peer cache or DO and DO is delivery optimization, right? One thing which is which is very interesting for me is basically with 2002 version, right? If you are running a CAS, central administration service server in SCM then there is an option to remove that right and you can uh, you can convert that into a standalone primary server right that option is not available for the admins at the moment so for that you need to raise a ticket with Microsoft right request with Microsoft CSS okay okay cool 
it seems there are a lot of improvements in the management insights and there are i think there are new rules added to the management insights i'm not going to go through all of them at the moment but probably i will see <clears throat> something like this right proactive maintenance group right so upgrade peer cache source to the latest version of configuration manager client this was uh, there earlier also right so there were some new stuff uh, which i'm not going to cover in this video mm, probably i will make a different video about that okay this video is to give you an overview of new features right let's go to community and check what is there actually right so the community i can just see the documentation over there right i don't i don't see any other options in the community workspace okay if i can go back to assets and complaints right you can see something new over here this is orchestration group right so orchestration group is mainly for server patching scenarios right to cover server patching scenarios so if you don't see orchestration group in your sscm or configuration manager 2002 then uh, you need to enable that from the features option over here right so if we can go to features you just need to enable this right you need to turn on then it will get enabled right and it will be visible in your assets and complaints works workspace right okay so you can create orchestration groups and manage your server patching in a better way right you have post and uh, pre and post checks available you can use scripts and all i have a different video and i will link the, those details into the the description of into the description of this video okay another interesting option from the right click menu of devices the option to collect client logs directly from the console right that's pretty interesting stuff right and even microsoft introduced a right click option to launch the cm pivot right directly from a device right okay so cool so if i go to collection and if i launch a cm pivot from here you can see that basically the cm pivot look and feel has changed right there are a lot of options available here and um, that's very useful right so so that's cool stuff right there are improvements in configuration items you can search subfolders and all right so that is one of the improvement which microsoft introduced with 2002 version of configuration manager right and there are improvements in the bitlocker configurations as well right so i'm not going to show you those in details but uh, there are blog posts out there from the community you can refer to those right so bitlocker management and uh, there are a lot of improvements over here from a rec recovery key perspective and all right another important update or enhancements microsoft made in 2002 version of configuration manager is application groups right application groups are basically you can group the applications and deploy as a one deployment to users or devices right if you go to the properties and you can select the sequences also right so which sequence it should it should install the application order right the first in this example like it will be installing 7c first and then google chrome right so that's very uh, nice option and i think uh, this is also a pre release feature at the moment but microsoft is working on to improve or enhance this feature in the later versions of configuration manager the other important or very interesting stuff is like now you can have a, a deployment type a uh, task sequence as a deployment type if i can say that right so if i go to create deployment type then you will get an option uh, to select 
task sequence over here, right? So this there's an option to select task sequence over here. That is pretty much interesting, right? So you can have all those task sequence power into the application deployment. That's that is going to be a very interesting scenario for many of the organizations. Okay, cool. So that was a quick overview of configuration manager 2002 production version release. Thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful. See you next time. Bye-bye.